Well, hello there, YouTube. Um, today's Sunday the 3rd, I believe. Is that right? 3rd? I uh, was going to go for a ride, take the old iron out. I haven't used, well, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but it's filthy dirty. Um, I actually come out to uh, to see what the weather was like, and because it's kind of looking iffy. Well, it's dumping out there. Well, not really dumping, but everything's wet. I'm not going to go out there and mess with that crap. So, anyway, I've been getting some... Uh, Sophie, you're making noise down there, dog. Um, I get... Uh, so, hey, I can't play with you right now. I get several uh, people asking about how I have my uh, camera set up for motovlogging. So I thought, oh, it's raining outside. Let's let's do this right quick. So I grabbed my ham my camera and stuff and uh, came out here. I hope this is not too shaky. It's a little uh, one of those little picnic tables, and I'm using the GoPro um, jaw clamp or whatever the hell that thing's called. A really cool new thing they have, and. Uh, this is being recorded on a Hero 3, not the Plus. The Plus is going to go on the helmet. <laughs> so anyway, this is my old clapped out HJC helmet. It's probably four years old or so. My wife actually got it as a um, gift for me a few years back. I didn't wear it that much until I started motovlogging or it was really cold. Um, it's quite noisy. Very, very noisy. And it's a constant battle trying to find a good uh, location for the mic that doesn't either mute it because I have it too deep in the padding or, uh, you know, it's too far out and I get people going, dude, you sound like you're out of breath. Well, things like in my mouth. But uh, anyway, uh, started out uh, before actually, you know, doing voice. I had the um, Hero 2 and then later the Hero 3 on the right hand side. Then when I started motovlogging, and most of my videos, well, that is quite shaky, uh, the camera is mounted here on the uh, left side because the mic on the Hero 3 is on the uh, on the left side of the camera, and you got have you have to use the adapter. With the adapter, I would have to extend the GoPro out too far to use it to make room for the oh to make room for the adapter. It sticks out quite a bit, kind of gaudy. I wish they would have did something different or had a dedicated mic port for the Hero 3 and 3 Plus, but you get what you get. But uh, anyway, uh, went on that ride around Mount Hood, and I knew the iron was going to, there's going to be, we're going down to Columbia Gorge, and the gorge, the most incredible wind you'll ever come across. And I thought, well, I'm not going to deal with that GoPro sitting on the side of my helmet the whole time. So uh, I looked at mounting it to the front of the helmet but the helmet kind of comes to a point at the end if I can get this where you can see it it's too pointy so what I did I kind of hollowed out the double-sided tape a little bit so that it would fit a little wider around the edges and because I'm not a big fan of this helmet I drilled two very small holes and ran some uh, stainless screws through the uh, mounting plate and into the helmet I mean, really, I, I'm not a big fan of this helmet, so don't freak out because I drilled my helmet. And you can see where I used some Gorilla Tape to hold uh, the mic wires in once. Don't use Gorilla Tape on your helmet. It'll pull the padding right off of it. It's not real leather. So, uh, anyway, I have it mounted to the front using the, the uh, I think it's called the Helmet Mounting Kit. Um... I mean, shit, I should know what the name of that thing is. I bought one, and this is actually the new one, and I've since found that I already had two of them. I got so much GoPro stuff, I lose track of what the heck I had. It kind of pissed me off that I spent the money on it, but nevertheless, I did. So, I use, uh, this is the Hero 3 Plus. It's in my, uh, or it's in a skeleton case. I pull this tape off. I put the tape on there because the mornings are, are quite foggy. And um, I don't want the fog to get in the camera because, and it has, I've literally had the camera floating in water. I can't believe it didn't kill it. And the uh, nice thing about electrical tape, you can like reuse it a million times for this kind of stuff. But anyway, you see big gaping holes in the ports for the uh, microphone port. Of course, you have access to all the ports. You can even pull the memory card out if you're brave enough. Because the card can 
fall in there and you end up having to pull the camera out. And on the other side, it's open where the uh, Wi-Fi button is. So it, it's quite open, as you can see. And you get in the fog, and it'll uh, it'll fill it up. In fact, the temperature gets in there as it is. If you notice some of my videos on the old Venture, you'll see a halo around the lens. It's actually fogging inside the, the lens. But so I don't mess up my mount, what I do... Wow, that is quite shaky. This may not be being not usable. Because I don't want to disturb how I have it set up. Let me move this out just a little bit. I just unbolt the camera every time I... Instead of moving it back and forth to get to the memory card and whatnot and charge it, I just I just pull the pin and pull it off. But uh, this is how it ends up on the front of the helmet. And of course, as you're riding, you're riding in that kind of a direction. So you just need to use your phone app or whatever to, to get the thing pointing in the right direction. And then I have the microphone coming. That's not tight. Coming out, plug the adapter in. Then it plugs into the helmet. And there we are. That's how I bomb down the road. And uh, you'd think that'd be distracting. I do see the top of the camera, but for the most part, I see right over it. I see some guys actually have it inside their helmet. I could not deal with that. That thing right under my face. I feel claustrophobic enough inside of a freaking helmet without doing that. But anyway, the mic cord is uh, running through. There's a Velcro strip for the uh, anti-fog thing that never really worked on this helmet. And I just found a piece of tug and loop or Velcro. And I just have the wire running through and Velcro down. And it's going into the chin. Let's see if we can unsnap this in a way you can see it. And then the microphone is one of those uh, new Wii's. God. Anyway, I have more of these ordered. They've never shown up. Kind of irritates me. But anyway, it's just a just a little small mic that's that's plugged in and sitting in a way that it's under the under the cheek. It's uh, there's not as you can see there's not a lot of foam towards the front facing part of that mic. So it's uh, it actually picks up a lot of noise, and if you've been listening or watching my videos, uh, you'll you'll hear it. it's quite noisy in the wind. But anyway, it's it's pretty easy to set up in there, and almost all modern helmets have a a uh, an inner liner that you can you can take in and out. You just pop it in. The back plug here, but I think I've been leaving that out because the mic gets in the way. Wow, that's so shaky on this little table. Um, anyway, I didn't uh, I didn't bring it out, but I have a little Olympus recorder for when it's really rainy, rainy, and I have to, you know, uh, record remotely. I have another extension cord, uh, StarTech.com. We got it from uh, uh, Amazon. Anyway, I use a uh, the extension and I just run it into a, just a little portable Olympus recorder um, I think I show that in my hero 3 plus unboxing I think I do but anyway this is that really nice oh man really nice edutage mic that I purchased and if you look at the video I think I named it chasing the deer I was chasing my kid around he had cannibalized the John Deere riding lawnmower and I was chasing him around on a XR70 and I was testing this out and it works so good but then uh, it doesn't it's very uh, it, it it's so sensitive that the wind just blacks it out just can't use it so I just have that attached to it but anyway I just run this through the helmet the same way and uh, it's plugged in, not with the mic, but uh, the extension cord is just plugged in. And then I run, I run it down my neck and into my pocket of my waterproof jacket. And I just reach my left hand in, turn it on, and off I go. But um, that's it. So two ways this way, unless it's pouring down rain. And I always keep uh, my 
well now my hero 3 plus which is that really small case I always keep that in my backpack in case it rains along with my Olympus recorder and this setup with the cord I leave this on here because if I have to do any voiceovers uh, it works great I have another one that is for uh, uh, Apple devices unbelievable recording sound comes through these microphones so if I ever have to do anything other than writing I'll use this microphone that's why it's in the little bag with the cord and I usually have my Olympus in there. I don't, I don't know why I took it out and put it in my camera bag. But anyway, not much to it. That's how I. Uh, that's how I moto vlog. If you guys have any additional questions, I, I have to say, <clears throat> not to interrupt. I actually prefer, which the react, reaction I'm getting. Like I guess I'm wrong, but I actually prefer the look from the side. I like seeing a little bit of the helmet and it's a little higher view and you see a little bit more. I don't like the top look at all. You'll see I don't even have one of those mounts up there. I just never use that. Don't like that look at all. Um, I prefer this. It gives the feeling and uh, even my 73 year old mother watches my videos on her iPad and says I feel like I'm, I'm looking over your shoulders. I like that feeling. My wife likes that too. She goes, man, it's just like, you know, the old days when we used to bomb around on, on all your sport bikes and stuff, you know, just leaning over, looking over your shoulder as we're cruising along. So I prefer that look, but uh, this is more sanitary as far as wind resistance. Uh, on the 72 with the shield on it though, you're, you're looking through the shield the whole time. So I do have some recordings with, with it mounted like this. Uh, with the 72 i haven't done anything with those videos i've man i've got so many videos to work with but i'll have lot lots of footage to play with over the winter long winter months that's for sure but uh anyway if you guys have any questions back to where i was uh, you know by all means send me a you know instant message facebook me comment however you want to contact me nothing special it's just uh, using a a front mount that GoPro sells and it's mounted mounted there and I just run a an extension cord to a remote mic inside the cheek uh, the, the trick is finding a good spot for that I'm looking at getting a new helmet um, I've got other things I want to do over the winter 1200 kit and an exhaust for my uh, my uh, iron so that's that's my focus right now the riding seasons pretty much over for, for this area and um, I, I I won't be needing a helmet for a while unless I find a really good deal you know there's some sale or you know um, a close out on a helmet a new models coming along you know I don't mind getting a, an older model I don't have to have the the latest greatest I may buy a helmet at that point but um, my wife's kind of freaking out over the amount of money the 1200 kit and exhaust is gonna cost so we'll uh, we'll go with that first Let's not, not push our luck here. So, uh, anyway, thanks for viewing. Thanks for, jeez, uh, um, you guys keep coming back. Thanks for all the comments and the likes. I, it's kind of shocking. I'm just I, This was kind of a, a thing I was just doing so I could show friends and co-workers things. Just goofy things, you know. It wasn't, it was more of a an internal thing. And then uh, you crazy people started coming along watching them and liking them and commenting, so... Here we are. But uh, anyway, thanks. Have a wonderful day. And hopefully the weather's nice in your area. Nicer than it is here. Take care now. Bye-bye.